everyone so i was requested to do a ronettes look this song was made in the 1960s um 1963 to be exact and it is be my baby i wanted to do something that they would have worn obviously with the heavy winged liner um amy winehouse really sources her inspiration from the ronettes as many already know with the heavy winged eyeliner and not a lot of face makeup finished off with a classic 1960s nude shimmery mouth um, so what I wanted to do was take it up to a slightly modern day notch by adding a little bit of depth to the crease uh, using modern day products of course um, and then I wanted to tie in the signature 1960s Ronettes pompadour um, and yeah very full fun eyelashes that were very iconic to the 60s um, via a lot of supermodels and, and things like that were using them so um, yeah and then because the song is be my baby it's very romantic I also wanted to do something that was very soft and neutrally almost like a rocker bridal-esque look so I hope that you enjoy this and thank you so much for watching get starting the look I've already taken the 100% pure organic coffee bean caffeine eye cream to uh, deep, puff, de stress, de nourish, or re nourish the eyelids, and then um, I took the 100, or sorry, the All Natural Face Magic Vegan Eyeshadow Primer. So now we're gonna get started on the look. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Natural at Night palette, and I'm going to begin with the Delium Tool 787 to begin this sort of 60s pinup or original Amy Winehouse look. I'm going to be taking Spotlight Eyeshadow, which is just that nude color, and we're going to put a soft sweep of this color. I'm going to take a little bit of Nightcap, which is this softer brown color, and I'm just going to put this through the crease, just going to take the tip of that 787 brush, and we're just going to feather this in. Now I'm going to take Coco Star for the outer portion uh, or the outer corner, still using that same brush, just the tip, and we're just going to pounce this in the inner corner, or sorry, the outer corner. I'm going to fluff this in, in the Too Faced three-way, and we're just going to line and we're just going to create a pretty big or pretty full wing. I'm building that wing as you can and pulling it straight up. and I'm going to take the Zuzu Luxe Eyeliner in Obsidian. And I'm just going to place this on the waterline. Take a small angle brush. This is just a generic small angle brush. I'm going to take a blend of Coco Star and Night Fever. And I'm just going to place this at the lower lash line. Size Queen Multi Dimensional Mascara. But I'm just going to pump it up a little bit because their costumes and their hair were a little bit more elaborate. So I'm going to infuse a little bit of inspiration. I'm going to take a little bit of Nightcap and Coco Star onto the Delium Tools 781. And I just want to add a little bit of color um, to the outer crease. Once the wing is on, you can kind of see how far out you want to go, which I kind of sometimes like doing the outer corner once a heavy wing like this is applied. Just see how much further you actually do want to pull in a little bit more color. And so you can always go with option one. I just think that this is just a little bit more sultry. The Ardell Double Ups, and these are number 208. They're on the spiky side, and I've seen like a lot of these sort of jaggedy lashes from the 60s or in the 60s. So I wanted to take these because these got these, or these have these tiny 
little points and all the packaging is all orange and whatever you know the, these aren't just for Halloween so I'm actually just gonna trim these down just a little bit so they don't poke out or cause um, inflammation of the eyes or discomfort and I'll be right back. I'll make it very um, simple or I've actually been um, liking to do the Too Faced Perfect Black. This is a fairly waterproof liner. It's super creamy so it glides really well with ease and you can coat the lash band really really beautifully once the lashes are on and then I just go right over it with the Too Faced 3-Way. Okay. Dollar Tools 957 and the Lush Breath of Fresh Air. And I'm just going to spritz the brush and go into my 100% pure sample. And I just want a nice full coverage. And my color is Peach Bisque. I just get these from White Rabbit Beauty. If you want to try out any lesser known or cruelty free vegan foundations or lipsticks, White Rabbit Beauty has a ton. I'm taking the Too Faced Primed and Poreless just to do a gentle contour. There's not enough, a lot of um, face makeup on the Ronettes. But what I do see is a luminous skin, not a ton of bronzer, but I don't really see any harsh contours in the 60s. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. I'm now going to take the Too Faced Full Bloom Cheek and Lip Cream color in Sweet Pea. It's a very pretty purple. And they seem to have very glowy skin, not a lot to it, just a little bit of cream blusher. You could also take a lipstick, obviously, which they may have done. Not entirely certain. Um, I'm going to take the Urban Decay 24-7 uh, Sin. And we're just going to put this on the upper cheekbone. They have very gleamy skin in some of their photos or pictures I saw. I'm just going to try to mimic that by putting that on. up with a little bit of Ben Eyes Banana Luxury Powder to set the face, put the final touches, and I'm going to take my e.l.f. stipple brush, remove some excess powder from the brush so it doesn't fall all over you or your clothes, it's, it's kind of, it's a powdery powder. But it sets nicely and stays on all day. I'm just going to go ahead and set the face so that it looks flawless for the rest of the day. So I want to do sort of a frosted over 60s lip. I'm going to take the Inglot Soft Precision Lip Liner in number 68. And it's similar to 19 or it's similar to 1960. It's similar to number 67. However, it's got more peach and a frost in it. Take a little bit of 192, which is a soft light pink. I'm going to put 263 right on top, which is the the nude, frosted nude. I'm going to pop that through the center so we just have sort of a custom, um, kind of a custom nudie, nudie nude. Layer a little bit of pumpkin poppies, platinum blonde over it. I don't like the lips to get too nude because then the teeth look really terrible and then you don't see the mouth, so I don't like that at all. But I do like to see that light lip with the cat eye. I hope you stay tuned to see a very quick pompadour on short hair. I considered doing a wig and I thought, meh, we'll just do the short pompadour. Let's start on this. I've already used my new me flat iron. Get the whole thing straight, which I had already done. Um, and then this little Velcro piece just kind of holds my hair in place while I'm working on my tutorials and stuff. It's simple, I'm not gonna send you to any crazy vegan beauty stores, but we're just gonna take a plastic comb and a pair of bobby pins. I like these because these sort of reflect the coloring in my hair. Not identical, but it will work. Or you could take like little clips like this. Um, these are also really nice baby clips. Now, um, I'm just going to start teasing the hair at the root. Tease like this. What you want to do is sort of smooth over the upper layers of the hair just enough to cover the tease. You don't want to see any rats or anything like that in your hair at all. Otherwise, it's not a good 
It's really not a good tease. Be sure to spritz or add pomade. Now we're just gonna take the bobby pin mm -hmm. yourself. You could open that up with your mouth if you're working on a client. You know, try to get those bobby pins open with your hands to avoid wrecking your teeth or swapping body fluids to another. And then I'm just gonna close the bobby pin gap up by, I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can, by kind of connecting that up a little bit. You could always take these little pieces of your hair and wrap it over the bobby pins. Just sort of oomph up the pompadour. Take what you have on the sides if you can, if you have enough hair on the sides. If you don't, do not worry about it. Also, um, Amy Winehouse and the Renettes, like they both had the side bang. If you have enough hair to be able to leave out the side bang down your face, you can do that. My bangs are a little bit longer, so it's not really gonna work with the look, but if you have enough bangs to be able to kind of curl them in, curl them under, and get kind of that shape, then I would say go for it. I mean, this is a hairstyle pretty much that you saw me wearing in a lot of my vids this summer to keep my hair out of my face. And then um, while it was growing out, especially in the summertime, because it just becomes a pain in the butt. Um, and then you could add a glossing serum. Coconut oil will really work. Um, and then you can find a non-RSL hairspray. I personally like argon oil. And just finish up your do. And thank you so much for watching.